Saigon and Havoc. Havoc from uh, Mob Deep, Prodigy, yep. Saigon, one half. They got a podcast on Vlad TV. Okay. Not sure if you had a chance to check it out yet, but shout out to both Saigon and Havoc. But what makes this interesting is because they had real beef for the last 15 years. Um, you know, this, and this was real street beef. So the fact that they came together and now they sitting across from one another and they're doing a podcast, I, I, I think it's commendable. And uh, I just want you, you know, I want you to share your thoughts on this is the way it's supposed to be. Like we get older. Yeah. Every beef don't have to end with somebody losing their life. Right. And, and their classic example that, yo, you know what? Past is a past. Let's move on and let's get this money. Listen, if you good at chuckles and I'm good at chuckles and we both sit down and keep locking the motherfucking board, we hate each other, but we keep locking the board. One day, somebody going to sit there and say, hey, man, I'm going to keep it a book. Y'all nigga like the same nigga because y'all keep got down. Y'all strategically, you not losing, you not losing. You not winning, you not winning. Somewhere in there, Y'all are the same pedigree, my nigga. What is y'all doing? What is y'all doing? I can only imagine if Jeezy and Gucci could have put out a gangster grill together. Mm. Mm. Now, if Jeezy and Gucci could have put together a gangster grill together, when we talked about the whole outcast and T.I. and Gucci and Jeezy conversation, the numbers might have been a little different because them them coming together being at the pinnacle at the pinnacle of, of their careers been amazing um, I think it's dope you know Saigon Havoc like I remember hearing shit about them because I had friends who was <laughs> the niggas was New York niggas like yo and he's trying to tell me about some shit that I'm like, well, I don't know about them like that. I know who they is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Saigon. Yeah, yeah. I know Havoc. Yeah. But I don't know about them like that. I didn't follow them enough because I wasn't from that, 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 you know what I'm saying? That lay of the land. But I heard about certain stuff. I think it's, I think it's commendable. It's plausible. You know, it ain't no different than Jeezy and Guap sitting down on that versus. And we know the type of beef they had. That's real beef. Yep. But for them to come together for the culture, that shit, it's a, it's a one-up almost. It's like that extra life on Mario Brothers where you, you, you get a certain amount of points and you get a bling, bling. You're like, oh, shit, I got an extra man. That's, it's a, <laughs> it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. I mean, it's dope. It's, it's, it's dope as shit. Like, it's about time. It's been time for that. Because a lot of times, the reason cats like that can come together it's because when they come down and actually sit and sit down and, and talk about why they pressed each other so hard, they started to realize they just stood on the same shit. They just was on the other side of the shit. You know what I'm saying? 